No matter how much time and resources you spend optimizing a site, at the end of the day, what really matters is the results you're getting. Whether you're an SEO expert who wants to show the impact of your work, or a business owner who wants to keep an eye on your site's performance, at some point, you will need to be able to check exactly where your site appears in search. With this goal in mind, we've created our keyword rank tracking tool. It provides accurate information on the organic and paid ranking positions of your website's tracked keywords across every major search engine. By the way, you're welcome to grab a free trial of SEO Rankings 30 plus tools by following the link in the description below this video. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the platform and focus on how you can get detailed information on the keyword rankings of each separate website that you've added to SEO Ranking as a project. But if you want to get a quick overview of the ranking positions of all of your tracked websites, be sure to check out this video over here. We cover a lot of information related to project management there. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. To access the rankings tool, you first need to add a website to SEO ranking along with a list of its target keywords. We have a separate video on this. Be sure to check it out by following the link in the description. All right. So let me select a website from the list and click on rankings to access the tool. Upon accessing the tool, you will see four tabs on the left-hand navigation bar. Summary, Detailed, Overall, and Historical Data. Depending on how the tool settings are configured in your account, which we'll soon get to, you can access any of these four tabs by default. In my case, the Detailed Rankings tab is the default option, so we'll start with it. Plus, this tab provides the most detailed information on a website's rankings. Hence the name. The rankings data in this tab is presented via charts and a table. Plus, we have several additional options and filters that help you focus on the keywords you need. So, if you're tracking keyword rankings in more than one location for a single website, you can switch between them here at the top, or you can choose to view summary data for every tracked location. Summary data across all tracked search engines is useful for keeping your finger on the pulse of your entire site's search activities, but I suggest you focus on a single search engine and location at a time to get more accurate data. Next to the search engine selection option, you have the opportunity to select specific dates or a time period to view rankings data for. By the way, the calendar is very intuitive, so we're not going to analyze it in detail. Right above the charts, we have position filters that can help you keep track of the overall ranking dynamics. Use them to quickly see keywords within a certain position range, like keywords ranking in the first position or among the top 10 search results. You can also set your own range or just filter keywords by dynamics to see where your positions have changed. The tool also uses rankings data to build charts for several performance metrics, including the site's average position, traffic forecast, search visibility, SERP features, and the percentage of keywords ranking among the top 10 search results. You are at liberty to view current data, data for the last week, month, three months, and a half a year. You can also group data by days, weeks, or months. And you can even check mark several keywords in the list below and compare them in the graph. And if you want to minimize the charts on the page without completely removing them via settings, Click here. As you can see, we can now see a lot more data on a single screen and the charts still have their previews. While a detailed keyword report may be tens of pages long and quite difficult to read, these charts let you present key indicators of a site's performance in a way that is both quick and easy to understand. Now, we have several additional options in the top right hand corner that I'd like to point out. To provide rankings data with context, you can leave notes on rankings charts. Just hover over a note in the chart to see what exactly happened on that day and perhaps get a better understanding of the ranking situation. You can create notes for the project and keywords. Plus, we ourselves post important search engine and platform updates. And if you ever need to share rankings data with your clients or teammates, we offer three different ways of doing this. First, you can share a guest link to let another person access a website's rankings data. 
By default, it only includes data on rankings, but you can also give permission to access traffic and competitor reports. Plus, people with the guest link will simply have to open it via a browser without having to log into the system. And if you want to deactivate the guest link, simply update it. People with access to your guest link will be able to select a custom date range and switch across every available chart. Another option that we offer is exporting rankings data via CSV or XLS files directly from the rankings tool. All you have to do is select the date range you need on the calendar and then click export in the top right corner. This option may be particularly useful if you're creating your own reports in Excel and only need raw data. Finally, if you'd like to present a PDF report to your clients, you can take advantage of our report builder. You're at liberty to add any type of data from our keyword rank tracker tool, including rankings data, competitor reports, visibility rating, and traffic data. And if necessary, you can set up scheduled reports that will be sent out on a preset schedule. As we scroll down to the keyword table, we can see several options above it and a lot of different columns in the table itself. Let's check them out. Here, we can switch to another search engine without having to go all the way back to the top of the page, as well as enter a specific keyword to quickly see it in the table. If you chose to track paid search results during project creation, you will see an option here that allows you to switch between organic and paid search results for your target keywords. Next, you can change the view mode and see the keywords in a list as they are right now, group them by keyword groups, tags, URL and SERP, target URL, or date when keywords were added. Different view modes give you more flexibility for working with data and analyzing keywords based on different metrics and commonalities. Further, we have the option to copy the entire table or specific rows. You can then paste this data into an XLS file and continue working with it there. Then we have our filtering options that let you pull specific data from the table. For example, we can select a specific keyword group, see all keywords with or without a target URL, enter a specific URL to see what keywords rank for it, specify a search engine volume range, specify keyword tags, the range of Google Ads competition difficulty, focus on specific SERP features, or you can isolate keywords whose rankings have jumped, dropped, or stayed the same. And last, we have our columns. Here you can decide which columns should be included in the table, plus you can pin up to four columns so that they will always be in your field of view. Now let's take a closer look at the table. Here we see the list of every keyword that was added to the website. By the way, you can always expand your keyword list by clicking on the green Add Keywords button at the top of the page. By hovering over a keyword, you will see several additional options appear. By clicking on the SERP Competitors button, you will be redirected to another tool that will show you the top 100 websites ranking for the selected keyword in your defined search engine. By clicking on the button with three vertical dots, you will see several options. You can delete a keyword from the list and stop tracking it, copy the entire keyword row, add a tag to a keyword, go to the SERP competitors tool, see live results, which will open up a new browser tab in the specified search engine that will run a search for the selected keyword. And you can create a keyword note. As for the target URL option, let's discuss it a bit. You can easily keep track of cannibalization issues by assigning target URLs to keywords. This will let the system know that you want a specific page to rank for the target keyword. Keep the check rankings for target URL only setting disabled, and the system will continue tracking rankings of all pages of your site, but it will highlight the position in red if some other page gets ranked for the same keyword instead of the one you're targeting. Here we can see a red URL icon, which means that the wrong page is ranking for the specified keyword. You can also see a red number next to the URL icon here, which means that several pages are getting ranked for the specified keyword. You should look into both of them to understand which one should be de-optimized and which one should be further optimized for its target keyword. Then we have the search volume, search visibility, tags, SERP features, traffic forecast, keyword group name, 
level of Google Ads competition and suggested bid, total number of search results for the specified keyword, date when the keyword was added to the system, notes, and ranking dynamics. And at the very end of the table, you can see the daily rankings of your target keywords for the selected dates or time period, along with their ranking dynamics that are highlighted in either green or red. By the way, you can click on any keyword's ranking position to get more detailed information that includes the keyword, the date when its rankings were checked, the URL that came up in search, the live results, a cached copy that confirms how pages were ranking for the specified keywords on that given day, and top 100 SERP competitors. On top of that, if for any reason the results do not match with reality, you can set the keyword ranking positions manually so that, for example, your clients see the actual picture of rankings. You can also checkmark keywords in the table and do several things with them. You can specify the target URL for several keywords at once, bucket keywords into a keyword group, tag them, or delete them from the list altogether. Now that we've gone through the detailed rankings tab, let's go back to the top of the page and see how we can customize the tool. You can easily play around with the setup of the rankings tool by clicking on the gear icon in the top left hand corner. Here, besides configuring the ranking setup, you can also access the project settings if you want to edit or add any information to it like keywords, search engines, and competitors. By clicking on ranking settings, you will see a pop-up window containing a lot of different customization options. Here you can decide if you want to show or hide charts, see data on all or one added search engine by default under the detailed and historical data tabs, and select the chart that will be open by default. Like I said earlier, the default tab that I access upon clicking on the rankings module is detailed, but you're welcome to change the default tab here. Then you can also decide how many keywords should be displayed on the page, if you want to see the full web page URL or just an icon, select the default table columns, choose to align rankings data from left to right or right to left, decide how many of the most recent ranking positions you want to see, choose the default table viewing mode, select which column you want data to be sorted by, and decide which chart notes you want to see. Just be sure to click apply when you're done. That is it for this tab and ranking settings. Let's continue on to the next tab. The Summary tab offers an easy way to quickly evaluate key project indicators among search engines, keywords, pages, top positions, and competitors. All of the data such as visibility, traffic forecast, detailed positions, the list of ranked pages and competitors' performance is pulled from multiple parts of your projects, which is then compiled into a single report. You can use this tab to get a quick overview of your site's past performance for example, in order to find the best performing page of your site or check how the rankings of a specific page have changed over the last month. On top of that, it can also be used to evaluate how the rankings of individual keywords have changed over time. Let's go down the page and see what we have here. The search visibility graph represents the total percentage of impressions the website gets over time in a given search engine for all keywords added to the project. The average position graph shows the average position of the website which is calculated by adding all ranking positions over a certain period of time and dividing them by the total number of keywords in the project. The organic traffic chart shows the total number of clicks on organic SERP snippets over the selected period of time. Under the distribution of top positions block, you can find the total number of site ranking positions in organic search depending on the number of positions occupied among the top 1, top 3, top 5, top 10, top 30, and top 100 search results. Keywords in SERP indicates the number of keywords for which your web pages are ranking at the top of the search results. The scale shows which keyword rankings have jumped, dropped, or stayed the same. Keyword overview shows lists of top, jumped, and dropped keywords which can be analyzed by ranking positions and visibility. If you click on the View All button, you will see the full list of keywords for the chosen category. Under Pages, you can view all of the pages of your site that are ranking at the top of the SERPs, 
have jumped or dropped with regard to their current ranking positions. Competitors shows all of the sites that are ranking among the top 5 search results for all tracked keywords and they are sorted by search visibility. The distribution of competitors block shows you the distribution of competitors in organic search depending on the number of keywords they rank for, the average position of these keywords, and the search visibility of the site. And at the bottom we have notes. Here you can find the latest project notes and info on recent search engine updates. By going to the overall tab, you can view data for all search engines on the same page. Basically, everything here is the same as under the detail tab, except that the table only shows the rankings data for the most recent date for each tracked search engine. And the last tab we have in the rankings tool is historical data. Here, you can compare current and baseline keyword rankings, as well as monitor their dynamics over a certain period of time such as yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, and six months ago. And that is it for this video guys. Today, we looked at the types of data that can be monitored with the help of our keyword rank tracker and how it can be shared with others. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get your free trial of SEO ranking and we would love it if you liked this video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.